Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio. Today we have, take two is what we have today. Um, the other day I did this video and, and all throughout the 15 or 20 minutes the weather started to change, the wind picked up beyond belief and, and it just, everything just kind of fell apart so I decided we're going to try it again and see what happens. Anyway, we're looking at a radio that well, not many people can find, I don't think. I suppose you can find it in China fairly easily. But I had to go I had to go way off the the known grid and kind of get into the unknown path of things and translate web pages and all kind of stuff to find this thing. But it's the Texan MS two hundred. And uh I know you, the two major suppliers, Anoncon and, and Kato, uh, the suppliers of Texan, they don't carry this model. And this is, is um, it's, I think, and I don't know, don't, don't hold me to this, but I think China and Japan, they have their own, own set of radios. Um, and and we don't see some of those radios over here in North America. Uh, anyway, but this has been traversing its way across the water from China. And uh, this radio, in, in the, the translation to all of this stuff, this writing, uh, it translates to designed for remote mountainous areas and offshore operations a short wave for old people. Okay, well I had to buy it. They had me they had me at old people. And let's just tear into it. Now the only like I said this is take 2 cuz we had got through most of it and it just kept getting worse and and I finally just gave up. So this has the batteries in it. It takes 4D batteries. And it weighs a ton because of the batteries. I'm gonna guess it weighs close to four pounds. You can hear it thunk when I put it down. But there it is. And there went the box. Oh well. Wow. This is this what I like about it, and I suppose why they say it's it's uh, a radio for old people because it's got larger knobs on it. Very simple to use. Um, just an overall neat design. It, it's a big, large design. It's really sturdy. Like I said, about four pounds. It won't tip over. Uh, let's see. When I measured it, it was almost eight and a half inches long, uh, five inches tall, about three inches thick or so and 4D batteries in it, so it's just, it's like a brick. And, uh, but it looks really neat, and that was the other thing that caught my eye. I had, we had done a review of the Texan R305, and I really, I, it was okay, but it just, it wasn't, to me, it wasn't Texan quality. And so I, I had a reservation about this, but I thought, well, let's see what happens. And they, they advertise a loudspeaker in it, and it just, I don't know. We're going to give it a shot and see what happens. The speaker size is about a three and a half inch diameter speaker. It looks like it's got a, a center cone in it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's, it's more than just a, a simple speaker. The dial on this. There's only two bands to it, medium wave, which would be the AM broadcast band, which is the frequencies we all know. Then it has a short wave band, which only goes from nine megahertz to 16 megahertz. Great for your daytime hours. Um, as you know, in, in, past, uh, in, in past episodes, I've talked about from 10 on up is great for daytime, 10 on down is really good for nighttime listening. Well, when it stops at 9 megahertz, it leaves out a whole bunch of nighttime stuff. And I suppose that's why your old people are in bed at night and wouldn't be listening to the radio. <laughs> I don't know if that's 
don't know if that's why or not. The advantage to that is, had that been any wider of a band, had it gone from three and a half to 21 megahertz, it would be so hard to tune that I, that's where, what had me concerned was that one band. Normally they're broken out into to several different bands. And uh, so that, that, that's okay. The antenna up here is 22 and a half inches long. We already measured that from the last time. Great size antenna. Over on this side, it's got three, it's, it has a three position switch. We'll talk about that first. Um, since it was all Chinese, I really wasn't sure what I was dealing with, but down at the bottom is off. One up is medium wave and then one more up is shortwave. And that's all there is to the on-off switch. The tuning knob, a little flaky left to right or so, up and down and left and right, but very, very smooth. Volume knob, very smooth. Again, a little wibble wobble, but eh, well. The back side of it, I thought this was really unique, that it has a place that you could put some nails in the wall and hang this on a wall. You can hang it someplace, whatever. And I thought that was kind of cool. Um, of course, the battery door here for the 4D batteries, an earphone jack, and it also doesn't have the handy-dandy wrist strap. Oh, no. This has a concealed handle. And then it just folds down in. It looks part of the body, but it's really a handy little handle. This side is absolutely nothing. So you can see how easy it is to use. And I hear the wind starting to pick up again. And I apologize for that. There is a solution, I think, to all this. Somehow, I have to block the wind somehow. Anyway, hopefully it won't get any crazier than it is. But let's just turn this on and just see. It was also in the description, it was written that it was uh, a lot more sensitive uh, especially for mountainous areas and stuff, it has to be more sensitive. And and let's just see what happens. As soon as you flip it on, and I don't know if you, I think you can see that. I can see it through the screen here. It's a lighted, lighted dial. Lighted tuning needle dial, whatever you want to call it. It's just an LED light that lights up. That's handy. I mean, it, if you're hard of seeing, that's handy. And let's just go all the way up to the top here. And we're on AM. Let's just see what we get. Probably not much in the 600 range, I don't think. That might be Cincinnati. That's Cincinnati. And how to avoid the hidden traps that could reduce them. As America's largest independent investment advisor. No, maybe that's short wave. So that's the short wave end of it. Okay. Well, one of those switches was, was whichever. So there's short wave. We're going to get all y'all's um, premiums. All y'all's? In the center that was. No, no, no. Let's go back to. I thought I was right. This is our local AM radio station here. In fact, according to Army officials, Bergdahl twice tried to escape his captivity. Correctly punished, beaten, and put in a cage like an animal. There we go. So, okay. There's our local AM radio station. I'm sorry, there was, I don't normally hear foreign music on AM broadcast. That's what took me by surprise. And he doesn't deserve to be called a traitor. But you can hear how loud it gets. It's got a great volume, and the, the tone on it's just great. Let's just go on down here. 
Christian churches. To 7 p.m. Thursday through Sunday. Association and the Indiana Interscholastic. Well, you can see how sensitive that this radio is. So, okay, let's go back up. I don't know why I feel like I have to go back to the top, but let's go back to the top and do shortwave now. You can see this. It was pulling in stations that a lot of the portable radios under $20 don't get. Uh, that's one thing that disappoints me. It's a lot of these little radios is the the broadcast band is not all that great and uh, Now this uh, I will I need to back up and say this was not a radio under $20. It was just a touch more. It was 27 um, And and you know we we break that rule sometimes about being under $20 but this was caught my eye so much and one I never heard of before eh, I thought we'd splurge and see what would happen so just a little over 20 now here's short wave so thank you for your all of the now there is is that 10 megahertz way up there now I hear it that's Odd, isn't it? That's almost nine three nine five, maybe. Good day and call out the devil. Okay. Now, now there's ten megahertz right here. You can see if you can see the red dot. It's pretty close to being aligned. Not. Tremendous. I don't know what was up there around the 9 megahertz range unless it was maybe I don't know what it was um, But that's your 10 megahertz Always always good to find that signal and then you can see how well your your radios aligned You can tell okay if that's 10 megahertz and it's way down here, you know, it's not gonna be very easy but let's move off of that because that gets kind of boring. Feel good about it. You might have to adjust this shift. Okay, slow down. There's no shame in it. Don't well. Okay. Siento de acuerdo. Ahora es esta posición de la política. A punto de partir del 2014 cuando la normalización. Got a great sound to it. Amazing sound. Really one of the best audio portables I've run into. You can see that in the short wave, the bands are, are marked out here, 31 meter, 25 meter, 22 and 19 meter. And then everything in between, it's fair game. See, you're in between those two bands now, so you're probably not going to get who knows what you're going to get. Well, that sounds like UFOs or something. What a cool radio. This is just neat. I feel like I'm passing stuff up even. It's pulling in so much fun stuff. Well, now there's another time signal, and it should be down here at 15, but it's way up here. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's look and come back. Yeah, it may just not be the most aligned thing on earth. Of course, if you're just just spinning the dial just to listen, eh, doesn't matter much. It does, but it doesn't. It 
definitely. Its sensitivity makes up for any shortcomings it have in being aligned. And that's a tour of the whole thing. That is just, that is just absolutely cool. I don't know if that, yeah, that does change. Even though you turn it off, it changes. I kind of thought it would. It's a mechanical dial. More back on shortwave. I just wanted to see... Trying to find 10 megahertz again. Right there it is. Yeah. Okay. 15, there's no, well, yeah, we heard it way down there. I don't know. That's okay. Still, what a cool radio this is. And uh, it's one that, that's got such a good, it's got such a good tone quality to it. That's what really kind of blew me away. And I also noticed on this... If you'd like to get your information listed on our community calendar, send it to us at 1010 WCSI. What I noticed on this is the AM broadcast is so quiet, noise-wise. I know a couple of other uh, radios I've looked at are really have a noise level that's really high in, on broadcast band. This is quiet. Makes it, a, makes it more of a joy to listen to. So there's the tour of the Texan MS-200. I'm not going to rate this one because, you know, I don't think it's fair um, to rate this between 0 and 10 uh, because it, it's not a portable under $20. It was a little bit more, so you pay more for radio, you should, you should get more uh, for the price. And so I'm not going to rate it, but I I would, if you Google Texan MS-200, you'll be taken to some bizarre places. And uh, I would I would say get you one of these, uh, especially if you like the broadcast band. Um, it, it's got a great audio to it. I absolutely really dig this. And... Uh, Trying to think if there's anything else. Really, the only negative to it might not be aligned quite right. Uh, looks like it might be aligned lower in the shortwave band and then on up. The AM broadcast band looked like it was aligned pretty good. Uh, so the alignment might be a little off. Knobs are a little wobbly, but that seems to be... It's kind of the Texan way almost. They kind of get a little, little loose in the knobs there. Um... But as far as, as negatives, that's about it. The audio quality is just stellar. And I don't know if that translates uh, onto the video. Um, I don't know how well that audio quality translates. But it, it is really, really nice. And, uh, yeah, if this, was, if this radio was under $20, or right at $20, I would rate it at an 8.5, probably out of 10. Um, but I won't just because, like I said, it was $27. And there's other higher, but that was the cheapest price I could find is $27. And I, well, I'd have to look at, at uh, I'd have to look at the order form because I don't even know if I could find where I got it. It was buried deep. And, and I thought I was going to be, you know, it's one of those that you just order and you hope that it finally comes someday. And uh, this took, oh, I, probably five weeks, I think, five or six weeks to get here. And uh, anymore, I've done this enough to where I just forget about it, and I order it, and I just let it go. And, you know, if something happened in a few months, why, well, I'd go back and say, oh, I never did get that, then, then you know, whatever. But it, it's an exercise in trust and patience, that's for sure. So, that's all I got today. It looks like a pretty day out. Um, this has been the Texan MS-200, ones you're not going to find at, at your local Walmart store, that's for sure. Uh, but if you get a chance to buy one, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, great audio quality. And uh, 
So with that, I'm going to end the review. I will say uh, I appreciate all the subscribers and all the people that have donated to the channel. If you like this video and you want to um, subscribe, you can subscribe down over here somewhere. And I try to put out new videos once, twice, maybe three times a week. Try not to give you too much stuff. And, and you know, it'd just be too much stuff to watch. So yeah, a couple times a week. And if you really uh, like what you see, uh, down in the description over here will be a link to help support the channel with a donation to PayPal. And those donations just keep everything going and bring you more content. And I just use that money to buy more radios with. Um, you know, at, uh, at first I thought, yeah, a radio under 20 bucks, that's not much, you know, but if you start doing 30 or 40 of these things, it starts to get to be quite a chunk. So any donation would be appreciated, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, two dollars and 32 cents, whatever. Um, anything is appreciated, and I appreciate, really thank the people that have donated so far. Uh, means you must like me. So with that, I'm going to end this and say I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you enjoy this video, and we will see you at the next review.